and welcome to Kingdom One Live, where it's all about a kingdom perspective. I'm your host, Deborah Asbury. Today's program comes to you in part by Privy, Etiquette and Protocol, owner operator Sherry Graham, a passport to get you to a position of influence and open doors of opportunities. Also by a novel thing, Christian romance novels that inspire, author Lucy Heath. Our guest today is an entrepreneur who only, who not only believes that God plays an intricate role in our lives, and it is of the utmost importance that we stay connected with him. Stay with us, we'll be right back. an entrepreneur and the owner of Itopia Med Spa and co-founder of Teori & Co, which creates products that are not only effective, but bring joy and comfort to the lives of many. Her mission in life is to use her knowledge and experience and passion to empower people, especially women and young girls, to take charge of their health and well-being. She is married to her husband, Greg, the mother of three beautiful adult children and one amazing grandson. Welcome to Kingdom One Live, Lady Patterson. Welcome, Lady Thank Patterson. You. It's an honor to be here today. I am just so excited to have you here. Wow. And you know, the wonderful thing about it is we have a standing appointment, I want to say every other week, because you're also my, my lash technician. Yes, my, um, I guess, what would be the, the better word? Beauty guru. My beauty guru, yes. I love that, <laughs> I love that. Well, again, just so excited to have you well, here. Well, I'm excited to be here too. So just right off the bat, mm -hmm. you uh, worked in IT, mm -hmm. in the medical field of IT for over 20 years, 25 years to be exact, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you made this big transition into the field of health and wellness. Talk with us about that transition. Okay. Well, Deborah, um, I have always worked in the health and wellness industry since my early age. At the age of uh, 18, I started working in ICU at Baylor Hospital, oh, okay. as well as the pathology um, department at Parkland Hospital in mm -hmm. Dallas, Texas. So health and wellness is the same as medical? Pretty much okay. uh, in that particular sector gotcha. that I'm in. Uh, and, and at that time, I transitioned into IT, which okay. led me to my, uh, as an IT project manager working at CDC, where I was there with them for 15 years. Wow, okay. And during that time, I had a passion that I wanted to open up my own medical aesthetic uh, spa. Mm. Uh, with that, with my skill set, I was able to bring in a network of other health professionals, mm -hmm. uh, people in the medical, the beauty, and the wellness industry. Right. And here we are today, 12 years later, uh, with an awesome business. That is so amazing. Yes. And I know that your business kind of transitioned into a family business. So talk with us about that Yes, aspect. so when I started the medical aesthetic uh, business, I was pretty much solo for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And then my daughters took interest uh, when mm -hmm. they were getting ready to go into college. Uh, so it all just kind of worked out. And as we grew, my husband and my son eventually joined us more on the administrative side. Mm. Uh, when we moved into our second location, my son, and my daughter and uh, my husband actually built that facility out. Oh, and that's and a facility a that facility. you get to experience every two weeks as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Uh, and with that, we was able to develop our own skincare line. Right. Uh, which is called Teori, which right. is named after my children. And so that's where the name Teori & Co. comes from. I love that. I love mm -hmm. that. And so you mentioned to me earlier that your daughters helped you with your branding. Yes. Talk with us about that. Yes. With my daughters, uh, they was able to come in to become uh, licensed estheticians to mm -hmm. work with us, and that helped us to build our family business. Uh, gotcha. With that, as we were growing to kind of keep everyone involved because we did work long and strenuous hours, right. uh, that's where my husband and my son came came in to kind of help with the administrative side. So that way, even though we worked long, uh, hours to build our brand, we were still all together on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like that we had to run home, tend to the family, I love it. and then run back and tend to the business, but we was always together from the start. 
I do love it. That's really inspirational for mm -hmm. families that have aspirations to, you know, start their own business mm -hmm. and then to do it as a family. How yes. does that work? Because, you know, a lot of times <laughs> there's just so much conflict, <laughs> but I can imagine that it would really be fun as well. Well, working with my children at a young age, they was used to my husband and I always having some type of business on the side. Oh, so gotcha. they already had that uh, business. Um, mm -hmm skill set built within mm -hmm. and when we came together everyone knew their particular role and what they did uh, and there was times where we had conflict where mommy mo had to kick <laughs> in because right. they may have forgotten that we are an actual medical spa and not at home but over the times that we I would say about 99 percent of the time we're always getting along together we gotcha. have a great working environment and it's a definite laid-back environment right. and as we bring more and more people into our environment uh, we adopt them as family as well I love it I love it mm -hmm. and so you're also bringing in um, the feminine hygiene products as yes. part of your business so talk of yes. us a little bit about yes. those pain points um, as a female uh, I understand the challenges of having, uh, dealing with on a monthly basis, right. discomfort uh, with your menstrual, mm -hmm. uh, feminine, uh, feminine care, as well as uh, your skin care. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to develop not only a great skin care product line that women can feel safe in using, but I also wanted to develop a line of feminine care products that were toxin free. Mm -hmm. Being a victim of tox toxic shock, you know, mm -hmm. syndrome, uh, as well as ended up having to have a total hysterectomy. Oh my it goodness. meant a lot to me to mm -hmm. uh, be able to help save other young girls and women from the products that they're currently using on the market. Absolutely. So I can safely say that our products that we are launching is uh, uh, chemical free. Mm -hmm. There are uh, no so irritants. It's organic based It's an organic based product, mm -hmm. and that women can feel safe. Uh, reliable and know that the products are going to work effectively for their feminine care. Oh wow, that mm -hmm. is so wonderful and mm -hmm. so needed. Mm -hmm. So needed. Um, we as women, we go through so much and it's just a part of life. Mm -hmm. So it's something that, you know, at one point it was taboo to talk about, mm -hmm. but to hear that you, an ordinary individual doing something this extraordinary, mm -hmm. that not only is enhancing your life and your daughter's lives, mm -hmm. but women around the globe. Exactly. So that's just phenomenal. Yeah, I'm just really excited about it, yes. Wow, yes. so in comparison to other products, what do you feel is the difference between, the, the difference that you're gonna make with Teori & Co, with the feminine hygiene okay. products? Okay, with, with Teori & Co, I have a big vision uh, okay. for Teori & Co. With the skincare product line, which we started back in 2014, mm -hmm. that product is giving tremendous results to all of our clients uh, that order from us online, as well as our clients within mm -hmm. our medical spa. Well, you know, I know all about that. Yes, ma'am, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, so with our skincare products, I wanted to use natural, organic, uh, cos cosmetical grade products where women can use it um, safely as well as they can start to see the results from their skincare products. Uh -huh. When it comes to our feminine care products, I wanted products that women uh, that are using feminine care products today that they are well educated yes. so that when they are teaching this to their young daughters or other young girls they're teaching them how to properly care for their bodies in Absolutely. addition to using proper and safe products that's out on the market the average woman do not go into the store right. to buy a product and ask herself is this product good for me right it's the sanitary product that i'm right. about to put on my most vulnerable part of my body is, right. is safe, we pretty much buy the product because it is marketed on right. TV all the time. But when in actuality, when we are educating women, educating mm -hmm. young girls, we're able to help them to make better decisions. Absolutely. And I love the fact that I think legislation in the past few years actually mm -hmm. Uh, made it so that the manufacturers have to actually put information mm -hmm. on their products letting the consumer know mm -hmm. that it could possibly cause toxic shock syndrome. I remember exactly. reading that, you know, exactly, a exactly. Of years ago. Exactly. A lot of the health information that you want to know yes. about your products and as well as how I keep myself educated, yes. you can find it on the World Health Organization. Well, you know what? We're going to put just a pin okay. in it just for okay. a moment. We're going to take a break, but when we return, we're going to do something just a little fun. We'll switch okay. gears. So Sounds stay good. with us. Okay. We'll be right back with more of Kingdom One Live. Ethan. 
introduced her readers to the Amish community in 2012 with the novel Rachel's Forbidden Love. She believes chivalry is not dead and every woman yearns for the passionate woo of her suitor. Her vivid and lifelike characters draw you into their very lives, causing you to cheer for the hero and heroine as they endeavor to find true love. Be enthralled by the mysterious intrigue as her novels keep you anticipating her character's next move. Start your journey today with these novels that read like a movie. Just as relationships evolve and grow, so should the relationship we have with God evolve and deepen. Pay attention to the little reminders God shares throughout the day. They are there for a reason. This devotion provides 52 reminders of God's love as he calls you into deeper relationship with him. With a donation of $30 or more, you will receive A Year Without Pants by Terry King Hunt. On behalf of sponsors and friends of Kingdom One Live, congratulations on a successful first season. May blessings continue to follow in season two. It's all about a kingdom perspective. I'm here talking with my special guest, Lady Patterson. She is the owner operator of Itopia Med Spa, as well as co-founder of Teori and Co. So where we left off at, mm -hmm. you had shared some very interesting information mm -hmm. about your businesses. Mm -hmm. And we're switching gears now. We're okay. gonna do something a little fun. Okay. We're gonna be to do the be enlightened lightning round, okay. which is fast paced. It's gonna be <laughs> either or this or that okay. type of questions. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, we're gonna just jump right into it. Okay. Texting or talking? Talking. Oh, me too. Mm -hmm. Favorite day of the week? Saturday. Mm, me too. Mm -hmm. Favorite city in the U.S. besides the one you live in? Honolulu. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nickname your parents used when you were growing up? Ladybug. Ladybug, cute. Paperback or audiobooks? Audiobooks. Manicure or pedicure? <laughs> Can't have Manicure. one without the other. <laughs> <laughs> Manicure. Manicure, okay. Favorite holiday? Uh, Memorial Day. How long does it take you to get ready? With no makeup, 20 minutes. <laughs> Scale of one to 10, how good of a driver are you? At my age, I say a seven. Oh, honest. <laughs> <laughs> Fill in the blank, Shirley Caesar is? Legendary gospel singer. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, well that okay. was it. All right, you're good with that. I love it, I love it. So, I mean, we've just had a, a fascinating conversation, mm -hmm. and I just love all that you do. God has blessed you, and I know he's going to continue to do so. Yes. Is there any, you know, last words or anything that you want to share about uh, Itopia Med Spa okay. or about uh, Teori and Co? Okay. Um, or anything encouraging to families that want to come together as a family and start mm -hmm. a business? I would like to tell all your listeners and viewers that if you're a family, uh, having your own business is possible. All you have to do is find that one particular talent out of that family member. Yes. And everyone will congregate around that particular family member yes. to help them to blossom and to support them. And when you support an individual that's growing in their business, uh, then everyone will be able to win because we're working together collectively and we're helping someone to win. Absolutely, and you win as a whole family. Yes, you do. Yes, so you do. as a mother and, and being a part of a business with your daughters, of course your, your husband and your son, mm -hmm. I realize that it comes a point when mm -hmm. maybe they transition mm -hmm. and do different things. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that? We try to find balance. Uh, my middle daughter, 
well, my middle child, she majored in chemistry and she loves to make uh, different types of products. So Wonderful. And she also has her own thing on the side. She has her own floor arrangement business oh. where she makes live flowers and artificial flowers nice. for different businesses and individuals. And my oldest daughter, she um, loves SEO marketing. So she loves oh. to market and she's an influencer as oh, well as uh, a wife and a mother. So they both have transitioned into their own identity. And my son, he's doing his own thing. He's in, in the music industry. Oh, uh, he I didn't loves, realize that. Yes, he loves to build and he loves to manage and also make music as well. Wow, that is mm -hmm. so amazing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I love it. And that's just, it's inspirational for families to know that transitions are going to happen, just like in corporate America. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, they always talk about um, pivoting. Exactly. And so I guess at any minute, whether you're in a family business or you're in a Fortune 500 organization, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's important to pivot and to be able to just kind of follow suit and encouraging one another as you do so. Yes, it's so important. So when a family member have other family members supporting them right. uh, and everyone's coming together as a whole, everyone can blossom and Absolutely. definitely stand very firm and strong on that. Absolutely. Uh, no matter if I want them to continue to work with me, uh, but I want them to find their own path, and that's right. what they're doing. And we're finding balance. I love that. Mm -hmm. And it becomes a win-win for everyone. It does. It does. Wonderful. So how can our viewers and our audience get in touch with you to learn more about Itopia Med Spa mm -hmm. as well as Toori & Co? Okay. Well, all the, uh, the listeners out there, you'll be able to keep in touch with us. Uh, Lady Patterson, you can go to our website, itopiamedspa.com. There you'll be able to find out more about our skincare products, our feminine care products, as well as our services that we offer. And we look awesome. forward to being able to see someone coming into our location for us to service you. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that is just so wonderful. Thank you so much okay, for joining you. me here today, Lady thank Patterson. Thank you. It was a pleasure. It has been all my pleasure. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Again, stay with us. We'll be right back with our musical talent next. Stay with us. Privy, etiquette and protocol services that assist with professional and personal development. It's not just about forks and spoons but a passport to get you to a position of influence and open doors of opportunity. Owner-Operator Sherry Graham. Just as relationships evolve and grow, so should the relationship we have with God evolve and deepen. Pay attention to the little reminders God shares throughout the day. They are there for a reason. This devotion provides 52 reminders of God's love as he calls you into deeper relationship with him. With a donation of $30 or more, you will receive A Year Without Pants by Terry King Hunt. Eve introduced her readers to the Amish community in 2012 with the novel Rachel's Forbidden Love. She believes chivalry is not dead and every woman yearns for the passionate woo of her suitor. Her vivid and lifelike characters draw you into their very lives, causing you to cheer for the hero and heroine as they endeavor to find true love. Be enthralled by the mysterious intrigue as her novels keep you anticipating her character's next move. Start your journey today with these novels that read like a movie. Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom One Live. Our musical guest today is a Jehovah Jams record artist and the native, a native of Atlanta, Georgia. She has been singing since she was three years old and has participated in many talent shows, um, many praise teams, ensembles, worship teams, and many community events. She is the, a licensed pastor and a minister of music at New Creation Christian Church in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Welcome to Kingdom One Live, February Hill. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I am just so excited to have you here. And you know what, just right off the bat, um, you have a phenomenal music project mm -hmm. that's entitled a new creation yes, and just realizing that is your church name mm -hmm. did that they inspire 
this project at all? Well, I, I do believe I grew into understanding that I was a new creation through this ministry. Absolutely. Um, because that's where we learn the Word of God and yes. that it has life. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That is so wonderful. And mm -hmm. singing since the age of three. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. And so have you always sang gospel music or have you also sang in different genres? Well, I have sung. I I've sang in different genres. Uh, we started out in R&B, doing things like In Vogue. I was a part of a, um, a group. There were five of us and wow. we would sing without music. Um, in harmony. Oh, wow. And then in high school, we, we moved more towards gospel. Got you, got you. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's just wonderful. So the, the new song, New Creation, mm -hmm. I know you said your church kind of inspired it, but I imagine too, it's coming from the scripture there. Is it um, 2 Corinthians 5.17, for we are new creations in Christ? Yes, ma'am. The old, <laughs> the old has, has passed away. <laughs> and behold, the new has come. Yes. Wow, yes. it's so wonderful. I'm looking forward to hearing it again. I know that our audience is as well. So I just want to present to some and introduce to others February Hill singing New Creation. You can make your way to the music set. Thank you. Thank you.
On behalf of sponsors and friends of Kingdom One Live, congratulations on a successful first season. May blessings continue to follow in season two. Welcome back to Kingdom One Live. Who you just heard before our break was February Hill. February, that was just an awesome performance. Will you let our viewers know how they can reach out to you to maybe have you come and share with them and um, your musical talent? Oh, yes, please. Um, so I can be booked through jjamsrecords.com. That's J-J-A-M-Z records.com. Okay. Um, and, you know, just to learn more about me, you can follow me on social media. Absolutely. At uh, February Hill, that's Facebook. Okay. Or F Brown underscore Hill on Instagram. Awesome, awesome. And they can also find out more about you on KingdomOneLive.com. But thank hey. you so much. Thank you for having me. Yes. Thank you. Well, in closing, everyone, I, I do want to say a special thank you to our guest, Lady Patterson, owner of Itopia Med Spa, and Teori and Co. Also to our musical guest, February Hill. In the book, Jesus CEO, the author, Lori Beth Jones, asked a question, have you ever thought of Jesus as the perfect leader. She says that there are three management styles. The first style is that of alpha, which is the masculine authoritative style uh, that's a power style. Then the second style is that of uh, beta, which is the feminine cooperative style of power. And then the third one is that of Omega, which is the one that encompasses and enhances both the Alpha and the Beta. And it represents Jesus' style. You see, Jesus began his earthly ministry at the age of 30, and he concluded it at the age of 33 when he was crucified in three short years. And after training 12 disciples, he went on to influence the whole world. And here we are 2,000 years later, over 2,000 years later, and he still continues to influence us. Make Jesus your CEO, the CEO of your ministry, the CEO of your lives, of your business, your organization, all that you have. And I declare that once you do that, he will transcend your life in your family forever. Thank you for watching Kingdom One Live. We want to know your thoughts, so please weigh in on the discussions. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us. And remember, as always, love and blessings.